<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some uh, NFL. So let's get around to it. So party report here. Uh, Caleb Williams is currently set to enter the hashtag NFL without an agent to represent him. Uh, apparently, he's following you know, Lamar Jackson's footsteps. Remember Lamar Jackson here in the NFL? Uh, I don't think he had an agent. So, Caleb Williams is going to enter uh, without an agent uh, as well. Honestly, it'll either pan out really well or he'll be out of the league in a few years. Well, maybe not in five years, but. Mate, I'll say, even if, he, even if his rookie contract expires and he's already signed, some team will take a fail off pure talent if it doesn't pan out. But I think he'll be, be um, stay, stay a while in the NFL. But it's an interesting move because the rookie deal is pretty much set, set though. But that doesn't surprise me. But that uh, is a bold move. Um, maybe he doesn't, maybe he just thinks, oh, I don't need an agent. So, party report here. Big Dom DeSandro's absence from the hashtag Eagles sideline affected Coach Nick Sirianni in a negative way down the stretch of the team's season, per at Real D Gun. Big Dom reportedly helped Sirianni keep his emotions in, in check. Sirianni was involved in numerous arguments with players slash coaches during games in his absence. So, hold on. You're basically saying he's the babysitter and a.k.a. Uh, Sirianni is a literal child. You're telling me a grown man basically needs a babysitter basically on the sideline. Like, the Eagles are a clown show, ladies and gentlemen. The Eagles are a clown show. I feel like just looking for excuses in any way. Because there's no way this fucking grown man here needs uh, another grown man uh, basically to act like a, 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 a man and not a literal child on the sideline. If he's arguing with his players and coaches so much that he needs a security guard to keep him in check, well, he shouldn't be a head coach anywhere, let alone the NFL. Why am I shocked? But why am I not shocked that Nick Sirianni is basically like a literal child, acts like a little fuck, literal child on the sideline? So, per report, a former superstar hashtag NFL running back Adrian Peterson is hosting a real estate sale in Houston where he'll be selling multiple pieces of memorabilia, including his MVP trophy, rookie of the year trophy, and OPOY trophy. And apparent, but apparently, about an hour ago, he confirmed uh, on his Twitter it was a false story and he isn't selling any of it. And I'm kind of glad this is true because I was honestly worried about the report earlier. So I'm glad he's not selling um, all that because he had to sell an MVP award, your Office Player of the Year award, you call it. I mean, just he wasn't having the broke allegations. But, but at least um, he's good. He isn't selling any of his other shit here. So some news today: the hashtag Rams uh, are releasing veteran center Brian Allen. Uh, after five seasons, they have only five seasons. So rumors: uh, the hashtag Giants could, could could potentially use the transition tag on free agent safety Xavier McKinney. Per NY Post Schwartz, it would cost the Giants 13.9 million, a nice savings from the franchise tag. The transition tag allows the player to negotiate with any other team and come up with a deal. With the Giants having the ability to match that offer sheet and retain the player, period, end quote. Not a bad plan. They could see what the market is for him and match it. And I think it's a, probably a great candidate for this. I think they'll sign him back. Using the uh, transition tag. Because they can see what the market is and whatever it is, they can match it. So, uh, we have some rumors with Justin Fields. Um, he wants the hashtag Bears to make a decision on the Via St. Brown Brothers podcast. He basically said, I just want it to be over. Let me know if I'm being traded. Let me know if I'm staying. Seems like a reasonable football request. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, he deserves that, to be honest. They're yanking his chain right now. I want to know the options so he can work on setting up there. Because if, if you draft Caleb Williams, then... 
what's the point of keeping Justin Fields? But if you're not going to draft Caleb Williams, then let Justin Fields know he's staying. If he's not, trade him. The Bears are done with him once that paper is signed. He still has tons of work to do after, but just let him know. I, I, that seems like an honest and um, reasonable football request. He, and also, uh, some rumors. Um, the hashtag Raiders will explore trading for, ha for hashtag Bears QB Justin Fields and have genuine interest in him, per Tony Pauline. There's another team that I'm told has genuine interest in acquiring Fields and will explore trading for him, the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, Lord. Go back, go back to Luke Gatesy. I mean, that's why this trade won't make sense, because why would he want to go back to Luke Gatesy? I mean, maybe the Raiders' offense would be better, like the talent, but, like, why would he want to go back to Luke Getze? I, I think the Atlanta Falcons will be um, a team to watch. Uh, but to add some more feel to the fire, Justin Fields says his favorite non-home stadium is the hashtag Steelers. The Steelers are one of the teams being heavily linked to Justin Fields right now. Uh, he said this on the Via St. Brown Brothers podcast. Oh, Lord. Arthur Smith. I don't think he wants to go there. That means, to me, honest, all he said was his favorite, favorite non-home steam is, though. So, I don't see how the Steelers are one of the teams being heavily linked when I haven't seen that anywhere. All I've, this is the only thing he's said regarding, you know, the Steelers is his favorite non-home state. I mean, that's all the news regarding Justin Fields. Will they make a decision? I don't know. When will, when will they? I don't know either. Uh, but per your report, Dolphins left tackle Toronto Armstead has no place to retire and wants to, re re wants to remain in Miami next season per FLA Sports Buzz. So another piece staying with that team, but Toronto Armstead can never stay healthy. He can never stay, stay healthy for a full season. That's where he's been hurt every year. Uh, rumors. Hashtag Panthers pass rusher Brian Burns was seeking a $30 million per year in a contract extension from the team per at Joseph Person. The Panthers were willing to go as high as five years at $27 million a year. Dude's a beast, but no chance anybody, I mean, I mean, especially because he hasn't really had a breakout pass rushing season. Like, I don't know if anybody's going to offer him $30 million a year. He's easily a top 10 defensive end, but I don't know if I would give him 25, 30 million. Those are for like your elite pass rushers, say Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons, TJ Watt, Max Crosby. But turning down five years for 27 million is crazy. I'll even say Trey Hendrickson I'd, will be up there as well. I just don't think Brian Burns is going to get like 20, 25, 30 million. It's just my opinion though. But I think, he, but he could. I'll, we'll just we'll just see what the Panthers do if anybody else gives him that. Tyreek Kill calling out the hashtag Dolphins fans and wants the team to trade Jalen Waddle. Eyes emoji. My boy Waddle is the future. He's better. He's better than I was at this point in his career. And for people in this fan base that want to trade him as ludicrous. Yeah, no way the Dolphins trade him, and they shouldn't want trade him, want to trade him at all right now. Because if you trade if you trade him away, he's gonna be your receiver too. Like team could just take away Tyreek and force. For some two and get, try and get to somebody else. I what makes sense. Um, Joe Clatt uh, says that Caleb Williams is the best quarterback prospect of the last decade regarding NFL draft prospects. One, Caleb Williams. Two, Trevor Lawrence. Three, Joe Burrow. Four, Drake May. Five, Bryce Young. Burrow's one. Sorry. I don't think Caleb Williams is going to be that good. We'll see. Uh, per Kevin Knight, Falcoholic Kevin said, uh, Y'all no, uh, no, all know I've been down J.J. McCarthy, but the NFL is not. Given everything I've heard since the Senior Bowl, it seems McCarthy is basically a top 10 lock. Teams love his tools and apparently believe he's an elite processor. I'm, I'm, I've kept, I'll keep saying it, man. J.J. McCarthy's not that good. I, what does the NFL say in this guy? Is, is it because he's white and from Michigan? Do people think, do, do these scouts think this is Tom Brady? Like a white guy from Michigan? Like that would be awful. A top 10 pick? Like, I, I mean, they like his form on handoffs, I guess. I don't, I don't even, I mean, I'm not going to say he's a third, fourth, fifth round guy. 
I think he's a second round pick. I think he's a second round guy. I'm not going to say he will, who will. He's a late round pick. I think he'll be a top, like, he'll be picked on day one. I just don't know if he'll be in the first or second round. Uh, the Lions are releasing veteran safety Tracy Walker, which makes me think they'll re-sign C.J. Garner-Johnson. But I don't know if that, I don't know if this has any impact, though. So, rumors. Hashtag Cowboy star quarterback Dak Prescott could command, could command a contract. Worth up to $60 million per year, per at Schultz Report. The salary cap is growing exponentially. And so and so is the market at the most important position. Just choking the playoffs every year with my Dallas Cowboys, man. I don't think Dak Prescott's worth $60 million a year. Sorry. I mean, I know, I guess it helps their, like... I guess it's so they can help, like, their, um, uh... Help their like salary cap situation, but Dak Prescott for sixty million, man, that'd be awful. Sorry. Uh, breaking: The police have suspended their investigation into hashtag Ravens wide receiver Zay Flowers, and he will face and he will face no charges. So, so he beat the charges. So Chad Johnson, you know, a night cap with. Uh, Shane Sharp, which I would recommend watching. Great show over there with Shane Sharp and uh, Chad, uh, Chad Johnson. Uh, Ocho Cinco. Uh, says on Nightcap that hashtag Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson will join the hashtag Steelers this season. A little birdie told me, and I said this many shows ago, Russell Wilson's coming on over to the Steelers. Oh boy, 9-8 and eight season incoming. I don't hate this for the Steelers. It's not a terrible move. It's not a good move. It's just, eh, it's, not, it's an okay move. I'm not going to come here and say it's a great move. So, Michael Parsons thinks that Tommy Paul should get another shot with the hashtag Cowboys. It says the team needs to get a, quote, nasty interior lineman via Stephen A. Smith's show. I, was, I would say towards the end of the season, Tony Pollard was catching his rhythm again. I do think he's an every damn guy. You've got to think. He broke his fibula, tibia, something that's a catastrophic injury. You're talking about a guy that's been really off from January. He came back week one, but he really didn't do a lot. It takes a while to get back into football. Well, he, I don't know if he'll get a shot with the Cowboys, but I don't think he's going to cost a lot. He was definitely playing better towards the end of the year. And I would say we keep him. I mean, that's just my thoughts. Like, he, he, should, he should get another shot. Will it be on the Cowboys? I don't know. But we'll see. They, could they go and get a guy like Derrick Henry or something? Possibly. And people, people, I love how people complain about Mike Parsons. Oh, yapping. He just giving us thoughts on the team. So, Patriots legendary special team where Matthew Slater's retiring. Hall of Famer. The, per your report, the hashtag Giants are unlikely to use the franchise tag on star running back Saquon Barkley. Giants are, are a stupid-ass organization. Uh, Gabe Davis posted an eight-minute tribute video that seems to foreshadow that he'll be leaving the Bills in free agency. He had 2007 receiving yards and 27 touchdowns during his four-year tenure. Well, I think I think he might be Arizona Cardinal. I heard rumors there's buzz around the NFL that the hashtag Texans could try to improve at the running back position to help C.J. Stroud. Names like Saquon Barkley or division rival Derrick Henry names on watch. Derrick Henry ain't going there, but they'd be scary with, get say, with Saquon Barkley. Uh, many are in the league. Expect the hashtag Bengals to franchise tag uh, wide receiver T. Higgins and let Tyler Boyd hit free agency. Uh, Joe Mixon and B.J. Hill are also potential, potential cap casualties as well for that team. I don't know what they'll do. They're lo they're scared to lose T. Higgins. I mean, I would too, because I think he'd be a good... You see what could keep T. Higgins and Jamar Chase if you let go of them. Um, Tyler Boyd, but we'll see. Longtime Cowboys star left tackle Tyron Smith doesn't want to retire and hopes to remain with Dallas next season. Give him one more year. It's the cut. It's, it, it's just give him one more year. Because when he's on the field, he's still healthy. Some people within the Jets organization... Like Commanders quarterback Sam Howell, and it, why would they want to be the backup? I mean, to learn from Rodgers, maybe. The quarterback position will be top priority for the Falcons heading into the offseason, says Jim Terry Fontenot. And he's like, oh, we'll attack the right way. What do you mean the right way? Should be a priority. It's their biggest need. 
Uh, virtually, uh, rumors, virtually no basically, no one expects Russell Wilson to turn to the Broncos. Well, no shit. Uh, Lawrence Guy is relate. They're releasing him. So yeah, um, that's all I have to say for this video. So until next match, like, peace. Or last thing I'll talk about is the Buccaneers are expected to place the franchise tag on star safety Anton Winfield Jr. as they should star safety. But it's all to say here until next match, like, peace.